So let me get this straight. You oppose the Patriot Act because it supposedly violates your privacy. Hi, my name is Spicer. What the? Can I look at your privates? But you're okay with car check. You believe that a girl as young as 13 years old should keep her trip to the abortion clinic private, as in keeping it a secret from her parents. Well dang, if you that hung up on privacy, you think that you want to keep your votes private too? You want law-abiding citizens to register their guns so the government can confiscate them. You want workers and businesses to report their earnings so the government can take that too. Now you want businesses to have public votes on whether to unionize or not. The money you earn, the guns you own, and the vote you cast is nobody's business but your own. Don't even tell me that you're a patriot and that you value privacy when you take a big doodle on our democratic process like this. Voting in private is the best way to ensure a fair election. Voting in private is not immune to corruption, but it is the best method against it. You make your votes public, and now you've introduced the element of coercion, which heightens the instance of corruption. You liberals always talking about pro-choice, but are always doing things that subtract choice. Like school choice, for instance. Gee, I wonder why Democrats don't like private schools. Oh yeah, because private schools aren't unionized. And if you think private schools are expensive now, you wait till they're infected by car check and they have to unionize. Man, I just think it's really funny that these liberal Democrats hate private schools. These liberal elitists are always demanding more money for the public schools, yet they send their own kids to private schools. That's because they want their kids to actually learn. Has it ever occurred to you that there's always more money being demanded for the public school system? That would be the teachers union, another revenue collecting arm for the Democrat National Committee. And despite all that money that gets thrown at them, are you seeing more and more of our kids getting smarter in our public school systems? Nah, but what you are seeing is more teen pregnancies and increasing prison populations. To be a union worker, you have to have an entitlement mentality. And that mentality makes you feel that you should be compensated to a degree that puts a strain on the consumer. Students are more and more being indoctrinated by this mentality as they are being taught in large by union workers. Who cares if the cost of products and services put a strain on your neighbor? You know that neighbor that you liberals claim to care so much about as long as you're getting paid better, right? See y'all, this is a big part of why liberal Democrats hate Walmart because Walmart is a very successful non-unionized business. And because there aren't unions sucking all that money from Walmart, Walmart can pass those savings on to you, the consumer. That was my little attempt at Ben Stein and and if a Walmart worker feels they're not being compensated well enough, then they can always learn a skill that pays them better. I mean, really, y'all, that's a better plan than demanding to be paid significantly more than what the market suggests for being a cashier. No disrespect to cashiers, but on the real, it's not like you need a special skill to be one. Ain't no cashier college. I've done the cashier thing. I sucked at it. I've been fired from every job that I ever had that involved the cash register. Y'all let these liberals get you into thinking that Walmart causes mom and pop shops to close. Now there's some truth to that, but these liberals get you thinking that that's the dominant instance. The dominant instance is that Walmart gets a lot of traffic and the surrounding businesses benefit from the increased traffic. Restaurants, dry cleaners, martial arts studios, there's a lot of small businesses that aren't threatened by Walmart than there are small businesses that are. Pretty much any benefit comes with a dash of detriment. That's just natural law. And Walmart continually proves to be more of a benefit than a detriment. And unions are proving to be more of a detriment than a benefit. I'll be the first one to say that there was a time when unions were absolutely necessary. The fair treatment of workers had to be enforced. Imagine women huddled up in shops wearing diapers because they weren't allowed to leave their sewing machine until their shift was over. I've worked alongside union workers and every one of them have been good hard workers. But the way I see it Democrats, if we could keep the money we earn instead of paying union dues, also keeping the money that we earn instead of having our income taxed, instead of taxing the businesses that we work for to the bone so they can pay that money to us instead of you, shoot our checks would be pretty heavy then. Unions are now a lot like the UN. They both put the un and unnecessary. Y'all, we have laws in place now to protect workers. And yes, I know there are some workers that still get treated unfairly. That ain't gonna decrease with unionizing. Shoot, if that were the case and unions really did stop unfair treatment, then you wouldn't always see strikers outside with their picket signs saying we're being treated unfairly. What's not fair is the high expenses of unions imposed on a business to be passed on to the consumer. Unions for a long time now have just been bullies and when they don't get what they want, they just further inconvenience you. And what they want is a lot more than you've been making ends meet with. When you pick up that box of cereal that your kids want and the price of that cereal is like $4, hey, them stores gotta pay them high union fees. Being dependent on foreign oil also contributes to higher prices too, but that's another subject. What is it about union workers where they can't make do with the things that you and I make do with? And because they don't get all these goodies that you and I manage to survive without, they go on strike. And who gets inconvenienced? We do. Where's my bus? Strike. strike. Where's my plane? Strike. strike. I gotta get into the grocery store, man, but I can't because all these people are standing in my way and I'm gonna be late picking up my kids. Strike. 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 
Excuse me, sir. We're striking, and we'd appreciate if you shop someplace else because this store is a bed. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're gonna dictate to where I'm gonna shop, are you gonna give me the money to shop there? No. Mmm. Are you at least gonna pay for my mileage to drive out of my way? Uh, no. Just step aside, this brother gotta get his shop on. Gotta get some bread, some cereal, some cheese. Yo, why do you think that the unions and the Democrats want these votes public? Because more businesses know that the cost of unions break businesses. And that means job loss. That's bad. Private votes have a tendency in resulting in businesses not wanting to be unionized. Public votes change that. All in favor say aye. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I think you need to put your hand up. What? Did you say I'm being brainwashed by American Solutions? Turn down the Daily Show. I can't hear you over Jon Stewart.